Hi, this is Dr. Tara Riddick from Gulf Coast Equine Hospital. I wanted to show you guys today how we make a duct tape boot for the bottom of our foot bandages. It's something that we ask a lot of clients to do and, and can be a little confusing at first. So just wanted to show you guys the steps and um, we'll actually make one right here that we'll put on a foot bandage in another video. So for most horses, a duct tape boot that is either 10 to 12 inches um, across and, and tall will work. And so we're just gonna take, this is T-Rex tape. Um, we also use Gorilla tape a lot, holds up really well as far as them walking around and, and trying to kind of move around and walk through it because we want it to last long enough between bandage changes. And I'm gonna estimate that's gonna be about a, a 10 inch um, piece. So we're gonna put that across kind of at the top of what will ultimately be a square of duct tape. And then I'm gonna make my side, okay? I'm gonna fill in this square with different pieces of duct tape. We're gonna overlap by about half. That's just gonna make things a little bit stronger so it holds up better. And these are pretty useful when horses have, uh, have hoof abscesses. Um, if we see them for maybe uh, breaking back some other hoof wall to the point that we get to the sensitive tissue, um, this is a good way putting a uh, bandage on that foot and putting duct tape on the bottom of it uh, to help protect it and keep them from getting moisture into that bandage or more dirt from the bottom. Uh, this really helps to protect that foot so that things can heal. And we can keep medications on there and whatnot just for a temporary situation. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to go on their foot. They're going to walk on it. They're going to tear it up. So don't worry too much about that. Although we do have little competitions here at the clinic on who can make the best ones. Sadly, I'm pretty sure Melanie's got me beat still. She makes the prettiest ones. We all know it. Just one more piece of duct tape. Okay. Always place this on something that when you pull this duct tape off, you're not going to damage the surface. It'll pull paint right off a wall. Don't go and damage the wall of the barn or something and have somebody upset with you. But we're going to pull this right off of here. Um, one thing that works really well for making these is just a cheap plastic cutting board. It's got a nice um, textured surface, at least on one side, and so it doesn't stick quite as well as this is sticking. Makes it a little easier to pull it up, okay? And so then what you're going to do is you're going to estimate the size of the bottom of your horse's foot. And imagine that kind of in the center, so right around here, okay? And we're going to cut in the corners to about where the edge of that horse's foot would be on the bottom of this, okay? And we'll do all four corners. Try not to stick it down too much. So that is our duct tape boot with the center still intact. We've got our sides, so when we put this on the bottom of that bandage, we can fold it up. That's how you make a duct tape boot.